Miles right now, I mean, like, what's what's the emotion, the feeling after a big win like that? I mean, you, I'm sure you've heard the saying, you know, a moment sometimes lasts forever, and that's honestly how this feels. It Coming into it, I knew I was the underdog, I knew I was going to be against one of the champions, and that lit a fire under me to be ready from the beginning. And honestly, I've dreamt of this, breathed it day in and day out, and so to visualize it and have it come true is amazing. I mean, I thank God for this opportunity, and I went through a, a losing streak for a long time, and you know, I stuck with it even when people were like, yeah, maybe it's not for you, maybe you're too nice or too happy or too whatever to be a fighter. And I'm like, no, I, I got it in me. And so it's amazing. I hope, I, I just thank God. Thank you. Do you know what it was to kind of flip the switch or, or, the, or did you? You know, we've done a lot of mental skills training in our gym, not just for myself, but for a lot of our other fighters and stuff, because we've noticed that a lot of fighters have, um, they, they get that anxiety sometimes, you know, that, that fight cage anxiety, and a lot of it's self-imposed. You know, you start to win a couple and then you think, man, everybody expects me to be this or that or anything, and to the extent that you get off of why you do it or who you are or try to play into anything, I think is, is to the extent you won't do well. And so having some guidance back has really helped. And then obviously worked on things like, especially for this fight, we're like, keep your left hand up. She hits a strong right. And so like we did this every day at practice. I was like writing on the walls and doing this, and I just kept my left hand up. So all of that stuff kind of helped improve it. But mostly it was really just having a great team behind me and, and having the faith that, that it's put in me for a reason. So keep going until I don't want to do it anymore. Not because of losses, not because of if somebody else thinks, well, you're a mom now, it's not in you. Just, just keep going because you want to. You defeated one of the number one female fighters in boxing. Yes. Undefeated world champion here at Madison Square Garden. I, I, Can you, like, you know, oh how my God. I, you know, I have a feeling I won't sleep for days. I mean, like I said, I have dreamt about this and they thought it could come true and had faith in it, but it still is, is unbelievable. And for all those losses, for all those hard times, this feeling that I, you can't buy, you can't get anywhere else, you can't do anything for, this is why you do it. And so I, I wish I had better words, but both words and silence transgress, which means just it is. And so I wish I could tell you more, but it's probably the top of the mountain. So, and you know, the best of you is coming back to the hardest climb. So I'm here. So um, this is thank like God. your biggest win. Yes, this is my biggest win. I mean, this is probably the top of my career right now. And even, you know, I try not to look too far ahead. I try to learn to live in the moment a lot more. Um, but I can't even imagine what would ever top this, to be honest. And, and this is, this is, this is this. I, it's heaven. I mean, it's amazing. She has defeated numerous boxers. Yeah. World, world champion, undefeated. And you, like you said, you were keeping the left hand up to kind of stay away from the right hand. Did you feel at any time her power and say, oh my goodness, this is what it feels to hit by like a... Yeah, you know, well, I think we both kind of had a similar plan. She was working on some of her kicks, and I actually wanted to throw a head kick. One of our things was, like, you know, keep your left hand up and try to get a good head kick in there. And I have done so many head kicks, kick the faces off all my, my partners, and I didn't quite get it high enough in here because she was coming right at me and did not give me a chance to, to have that distance. So her power, I felt probably got a punch right here, but where we were kind of attacking each other, we turned it around pretty fast. I know she can knock teeth out of people and I thank God I didn't have to feel that today but I mean she's a gamer I mean you can see it in her eyes that she was ready for this so that that's what I felt the most was just like oh look at her she wants to hurt me. <laughs> when you got it to the ground can you speak to the you know to the ground and pound and you know the punch you yep know. so you know one of the biggest mistakes I think a lot of fighters make and I've made in my past I can probably just mostly speak for myself is rushing those positions you know getting and trying to advance without control first so we talk about what are things that I've worked on over the years, and that's one of the big ones too, not getting overextended and, and getting there, just being like, wait, pause, it's okay. And if you sit there for a moment and the crowd boos or somebody is in the audience like, well, if I were you, I'd do this. You can't listen to them because, well, they're not me and, and they're there. So um, it was control. And then, you know, she was holding on real tight. She's strong. So I just had to be like, you know what? Breathe through it. Eventually she's going to let go because you burn yourself out when you do that. And then just wait for that moment. And so that's the part of MMA that I like, that you have to strategize and think ahead. And so I kind of would clamp into things that have two different routes maybe in my mind. Like, okay, if she gets this cook, I'm gonna step into the mouth. If she does this, I'm gonna, you know, gift wrap it and stuff. So that's kind of what it was. And then once I was on top, it was like, all right, gotta get some good shots in there because if they stand us back up, she's gonna come for blood even more. So it was like, just get some hard shots in, just get some hard shots in and squeeze tight when she got scrambly and patience. And then when she, had to calm down, go after it again. So that was kind of the game plan I had. You have two New York fighters on the belt that you defeated. 
and Stasio, um Bruce. Bruce and that had the Hardy. Yes. Are you looking to like, I just want to dominate one of the <laughs> I want to dominate the world. No, <laughs> no. I mean, thankfully, you know, one of the nice things we say in our, our gym, and other people say it too, is iron sharpens iron. And right. so in our gym, we have our um, teammates that help us get better because we, we constantly are making each other better. And if I fight good people, and the Bronx, I mean, especially in New York, is renowned for your fighters. I mean, it, it really is. I mean, Madison Square Garden is where all the greats have fought and where so many people come from and the that and so if I'm gonna compete against people and find out if what I'm doing is right, why not go to the place where they offer some of the best people? New York is it. So here I am. <laughs> Taylor. Yes sir. When you went into this fight and you envisioned this fight, did you expect it to be this dominant of a performance? Because it looked pretty easy for you. Um, no. <laughs> it was not easy. <laughs> like, like I said, I mean, we practiced the control. With patience was probably the theme of this fight. Um, so no, I I went out with my complete game face on, expected to, to have to take a cute couple of shots and be there. So the fact that, just speaking for myself, that I could do what we practiced, do what we envisioned. It wasn't by any means easy. All the work has been done over these past six weeks since I found out about it day in and day out, nights dreaming about it, that kind of stuff. So when I finally got there, it wasn't easy, but it came more naturally than, than um, I had expected. So that part was. You mentioned you were the underdog heading to this fight. Yes, sir. A lot of fans, a lot of media members overlooked you. Do you think Heather might have overlooked you? You know, I don't like listen to a lot of my opponents beforehand. I let my coach do all the, the prep because in the past I've kind of gotten, I said this in some of my other um, interviews, you get almost obsessed with your opponent. Like, what are they doing? And to the extent that I, I'm thinking about what they're thinking about, I'm not thinking about what I should be doing, what I'm thinking about. So I, from what I was told, that she was very um, nice about it and said, you know, she doesn't underestimate me. She knows that I come from an MMA background, so I have more weapons in my arsenal. She is, you know, if you're a gaming person, you have a character, she had like 90% strength in boxing and 10% somewhere else, and I'm like, you know, 40% here and 30% here, 20, you know, so it adds up a little bit different. Um, so I don't think she underestimated me, and, um, but, but I do think the media and a lot of people did, but I don't, I, I even said to begin with, though, like, I don't blame them. I've even looked in some of my past where I've had that cage fright and I've let that kind of get over me. So of course, I mean, you can only go by what you see and everybody who loses is like, just wait, I've got more to show you. And you're like, oh, okay, how many people stick around? And I actually just stuck around, so. Uh, Christina Williams, she earned a contract with Bellator by beating Heather. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you'll now get a long-term contract with Bellator with this win? I already have a long-term contract with Bellator. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think so. <laughs> so, yes. Hey, hey Taylor, um, yes, when it was coming up to the stoppage, did you feel that they should have stopped it a little bit sooner in that sense? You know, backstage I was watching some of the fights and one of the things I noticed from the beginning is that the refs were really letting people work. Um, and so that was something that was in my mind to begin with, that okay, they, they want us to work, they want us to put on a good show, they know we are want to be here, you know, in the medicals they ask you ahead of time, they're like, do you want to be here? And we're like, yes, I, I've signed up for this, I'm not being forced in the black market. So, you know, I'm glad that they let us work, but don't get me wrong, when you are on top of your adrenaline's pump, but then I'm like, I asked my coach at the end, I was like, how much time was left? He's like, oh, it was like a minute and some. I'm like, I thought it was only like five seconds the whole time. Cause I was like, oh my God, I don't know why we're able to do this again. Just keep going, please stop this, please stop this. So he let us work um, and she was, she was bucking. She didn't give up for half a second. So I can see why he did let us work, but it did get to a point where it was like, Okay, let's stop it. After the win, what did she say to you? Because I've seen y'all, you know, exchange words. She, I mean, she was actually very kind. She was like, great job. She was like, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, that I didn't put on a, a bigger show for you and, and that kind of stuff. And she just told me, she's like, you did awesome and, and thank you for this opportunity. And, and we had a little bit of um, a catch weight that we had to make. And she got us like, you know, I'm sorry I came to that. And I was like, no problem. I mean, I made more money and, you know, here we are. So, I mean, she was, she was very respectful. And I have to say, out of whenever we even have our own MMA promotion, when I, I look at fighters, I like that when they're respectful to each other because we all grind, we all do our thing on the side. And when and I know there's some like you know brushing of shoulders sometimes, and people are like, oh, I don't like this person, it's for the show. But honestly, I always think like, why do you not like your opponent? Like, I need you to be here. I mean, nobody's gonna pay you really to watch me dance at the stage, and if it is, <laughs> we're not in the right venue. So <laughs> that's not the same thing. So I'm like, you need each other, and when you respect each other, I, I love that in a moment. So she was awesome. Taylor. Yes, sir. Um, you just you were smiling from the moment you watched the court in the hallway through the fight. You were talking about fighting an MSG and a big name opponent. At any point, either tonight or during the week, did the occasion get here and feel overwhelmed in any way? Yeah, you know, I mean, it does hit you. It, it does. Thankfully, this is my third fight this year, so I don't have any ring rust. I don't have any of that stuff. So that was really helpful. And I kept telling my coaches and my teammates at the time, I'm like. I feel really good and I feel really happy. I'm like, I wonder if that drop is gonna come because I have felt cage break before. I have gotten to that spot where your legs are like 
they're in cement, they don't feel like they move. And I guess here, especially being the underdog, I was like, heck, win or lose, like I'm gonna be back here, I'm gonna be a fighter in Bellator at MSG. So I was like, well, what can I lose? So I, I felt pretty good the whole time. But you know, it, I think it's how you interpret the adrenaline. Um, one of the things our coach always talks to us about in, uh, in our mental skills training is like when you go on your first date or something, like you get the same butterflies, it's just how your brain pushes it, negative or down. You know, sometimes in the cage, you get the same exact adrenaline rush. How do you interpret it? Is it you know, positive or negative, so we get to do it. So we've worked a lot on pushing all the nerves to the positive. So when I was starting to get nervous, I was like, I get nervous at Disney World on the rides. And I get nervous like, when my husband kisses me in a good way. Like, you know, so I tried to like push all of it in that direction. <laughs> You're welcome. Any other questions? Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you all for having me here. I appreciate it.